different too, because like I'm also an artist, so it's like you know I I have a record and and you know I'm trying to figure out like do I want to keep this? Should I give it away? Like that's a whole other thing. But that's that's gonna be a you thing. Yeah. Though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I can only tell you the business yeah. part of it, but that's gonna be a you thing, and and that's where it gets harder with most people. Like you gotta choose: do you want to be an artist first, or do you want to be a songwriter? And then well, like, go to I artist. admire like Carrie Hilson, Bibi Borelli, Neo, you right. know, The Dream. They've but all they're... gone down that lane. And at this point, I mean, um, you know, you've got to you got to start somewhere, get right. somewhere. The way you said earlier is something about like uh, just you know, well, well, Gabriel said this earlier. Don't talk money first. You know, talk about what you can offer, and right. that's kind of like you know why I asked the question as well. Yeah, because you don't know. Because you don't, well, that's good advice. You don't talk money first because you don't know if they're going to take the record or not. Nothing right. is done until it's papered. You know what I'm saying? So that's why you don't talk money. Wait till they start asking you for terms and then you start talking money or have somebody represent you. But I would just say, get with producers. Like if you're going to go the songwriter route, like since you say you want to get placed with other artists and labels, get with producers. You need to be with, uh, you need to have at least five or six producers that you're just writing hooks for because that's going to put your hooks and your uh, references in that many different rooms. So that's what you would do and just, you know, have the paper, you know, just have everything set up because they can't sell it without you. So. Right. OK. I would say that kind of the same thing. Get with producers and engineers specifically, because those like, for example, if I'm working on a record with someone and you happen to send a song and that artist likes the song, that's a connection right there. It's very easy. So basically you want to connect with the people that are in the studios working with artists every day, a different artist. Um, as much as possible, and then um, also, it's not far-fetched to build your brand to a certain extent, and then DM, cold DM people, or cold email people, and make it work. Um, I'm a living example of that. I built my brand to a certain point, got, you know, people re, you know, reposting my stuff all the time. I have certain looks, interviews, podcasts, etc. and so when they click on my page, it's like, let's respond to him. You know what I mean? So, obviously, get your pitch straight, and exactly what you want to brand yourself as and what you're offering, then you can cold email and cold DM. It does work. It's a percentage game, but you can do that. It's possible. So 